Okay, night drive on the FSD. You just fix your camera. Here we go. Night drive on the FSD. Beautiful Tesla Model Y, the launch model. We have about a half hour drive. We'll record about 15 minutes of them. Just the interesting parts, the turns and the lights and all that. And um, Tesla Model Y, this version of the FSD version 4, 13.2.8 is totally and completely autonomous. There is no more, there's no doubt about it. I drove it in Manhattan through the tunnels, through the bridges, through toll boots twice. Zero intervention, zero issues. My wife, who drives this car much more than I do, uh, and she used to use autopilot, FSD kind of a thing, just on the highways. She's doing exactly what I'm doing now. And um, I want to tell you something, share with you something, uh, it's like a story. One of my workers this morning, uh, she, she worked all night for whatever reason, she was preparing some stuff she shouldn't have done. And she drove to work where I, I'm the boss there. She drove to work and she fell asleep and she hit a telephone pole and all the airbags deployed and the car flipped. She's okay, she was in the hospital, she's okay. I am telling you, I'm predicting that in five to 10 years from now, this is gonna be the standard, then the requirement, then the mandate that humans in certain areas, certain countries, each country is different, will no longer be allowed to uh, obtain a driver's license because it will not be necessary. And I'm not saying just Tesla. Now, I, I was abroad a month ago or so, and I test drove six uh, of the most prominent Chinese cars, uh, Xpeng G6, G9, uh, two BYDs, Geely, and even Zeker, which was really a great car. And they have great features and it's awesome and all that, but they don't even come, and I'm not trying to like ridicule them, they don't even come close to the capabilities of Tesla. Now, I do watch videos of other creators, both in China and other places around the world. Nobody is doing this. I've been driving Tesla cars since 2018, and I'm telling you, this is a different league. Tesla has cracked the code. It took a long time. People forget that it took almost 10 years for Waymo to become autonomous car within a pre-mapped restricted area in few cities in the United States. This is not few cities. This is a totally and completely uh, a, a, a autonomous anywhere, anywhere that you want. Any place that you want, anywhere that you want, there is no restriction. So is it, you know, you saw in the title, is it going to take out Uber, Lyft, uh, Waymo and everybody else? Eventually, yes, and there are several reasons. I'll try to mention the, the most important ones. Uh, but first of all, the cost. Tesla will create cars like this, cheaper cars like this, the, the robot taxi, the, uh, uh, the cyber cab, which is an awesome car, and deploy it anywhere in North America where is it, where it's allowed. Anywhere with no issues. Anywhere. For fraction of the price. Fraction of the price. I said it in some videos before that a, a Tesla, that where I live, to go to the airport could be between 60 to $100. This ride will be maybe 20, maybe 20. So the disruption that is coming up and there's volume, there's value. This is somebody's personal business. Not only Tesla, forget Tesla, which is now testing it on their employees in San Francisco in, and also in other places. Employees, they use actually as an app. So basically, there will be so many cars driving around, there will be no, very little wait time. You'll get your car, it will take you safely, and, and, and eventually, 
the biggest benefit is the elimination or almost elimination of a car accident caused by the autonomous car. I mean, anybody else can hit it, but caused by the autonomous car. So the cost is what it is. It's the, the cameras and the hardware and software. That's it with updates. I'm telling you, I'm driving uh, like this video, a video like this a year ago, I will have two or three interventions already. Maybe not critical, but two or three uh, intervention. So that is, it, it, it just, just, it doesn't happen anymore. It does not happen. So the cost is of the car is enormous. Meaning the different, the difference between this and Uber Lyft, which is require human driver or Waymo, which by itself, it's a very expensive car. Yes, they say they're going to partner with Toyota, please. Anytime you say Toyota and electric cars, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. You see, like for example, driving in like a one lane construction zone. Like a year ago, I would hold the two, uh, I put my hand on the wheel and hold my breath. Nothing, here's a truck, cones, uh, workers. I, I don't care, it's just great. It just does its job, it knows what to do, and that's it. So the cost of the vehicles is the biggest differentiator compared to uh, other uh, ride-sharing services. And the cost to the customer will be an enormous discount because it's a lot of volume and no, no driver, and these cars do exist. And Tesla owners, like I am and many others, will be able to uh, unleash their vehicles and make money off of them during the day. <clears throat> For example, here we just stopped in a stoplight Again, in the older version, this stop would be so abrupt and sharp and, and you know, and like uh, uh, something, that I would call it something that will make you a little bit uncomfortable. That's, that's what I'm saying. Something that will make you uncomfortable, but no more. None of these issues exist. So uh, uh, I, whenever I drive this car and all that, my wife drives that car, we do not drive the car anymore we do not drive so whether it's car tesla cars or tesla technology in other cars we'll see what happens <clears throat> but this is absolutely and totally <clears throat> solved resolved this is resolved completely resolved highways it's even more incredibly uh, 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 refined and lane changes and exits and merges and it's great but what i see in town in new york city new york city is a congestion hunter holland tunnel or, Hill, or lincoln tunnel or gw bridge i mean good luck i don't i don't go there a lot but when i go i can't wait to make a u-turn and come back it's really really tough place to drive and it performs amazing it performs amazing so the the the, the world is about to start to change and I, I'm telling you, this is what you see, is the next business, not of Tesla, of people like me, who own Teslas, and there are millions of them, who own Teslas with this hardware, or the upgraded hardware, if you have our hardware three, can, and many of them will, just make this as their business. Make this as their business, and, and all the mechanism will work out in terms of charging and all that, but this will be worked out. And soon, within a year, you will see what I'm doing now as common, common occurrence. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this short video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.